Hey everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine MetaHuman tutorial series. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to easily animate your MetaHuman to create awesome videos like these ones that I made for TikTok. In the past, animating MetaHumans in Unreal was a bit tricky, but with the latest versions of Unreal Engine, it's now super simple. I'll show you how to do it first with built-in engine content and then how you can use animations from platforms like Mixamo and apply them to your MetaHuman in just a few clicks. Here's my MetaHuman inside a basic level. You can check out my previous tutorial on how to import your MetaHuman if you don't have your MetaHuman imported in Unreal Engine yet. Okay, so I'll start with the first way to add animations to your MetaHuman. First, you'll want to import the third person content to your project. Right click in your content browser, add feature or content pack, third person. Mine is already added, so I'll just skip this. go to characters folder, mannequins, animations, Quinn or Manny. You can choose any animation that you want from here. Um, I'll go with the idle one. And what you'll want to do is click on it, right click, retarget animations, and a screen will pop. So we have the source skeletal mesh here and then the target skeletal mesh. What we want to do is retarget the animation to the metahuman. So in target skeletal mesh here, we want to select our metahuman's body. Mine is F tall UNW body. And then there is a list of animations that you can retarget. We can find the idle, idle animation here. So for the Quinn one, it's MF idle. And now you can see that the animation is retargeted to your metahuman. Then click on export animation it's going to ask you where you want to export your animation to. I'll just export it to this folder that I created for the tutorial, um, but you can just put it anywhere. Click on export, export again. And now you can see that you have a new animation asset created in the folder. All right, now you'll want to apply the animation to your MetaHuman in your scene. So click on your MetaHuman in the details panel on the right, click on body and under animation mode, change it to use animation asset. And then you can just drag the animation asset here in anim to play. And you can see that will immediately change the pose. Hit play to see what the full animation looks like. Yep, it looks good. And so, yeah, that's how you do it if you want to keep things super simple and just use the third person content mannequins animation on your metahuman. Now let's move on to slightly more complex animations. I set up this scene here and I want my metahuman to be sitting on this chair. Since I wanted a broader selection of animations, I went over to Mixamo.com and found a few sitting animations that I liked. I ended up going with this cross-legged sit sitting animation here. Um, so once you've found the animation you like, just click on download and use the default settings. drag or import your animation into your folders. Make sure both skeletal mesh and import mesh are ticked and import animations as well, import all. So we're going to do a similar process as before. So right click on your animation and click retarget animation. Choose your VetaHuman body skeletal mesh again. Select the animation you want to export. And then click on export animations. Choose your animation folder, export and export. Once again, click on your MetaHuman click on body animation and drag your new animation into the anim to play box.
hit play and you will see that your character is now animated. So as you can see, the hands are not well positioned. So I will quickly show you how you can fix that. So double click on your animation to open it up. What you'll want to do is position the body how you want it by moving and rotating the specific bones. So for me, I just want to lift the arms so that they're not intersecting with the legs. Um, so I'm just gonna move the bones here. And then once you're ready, press the key button here on top. I'll do the same thing for the other arm. And when you're done, just hit save. Obviously I wanted to do this pretty quickly so the arms are not perfect. I would probably want to go in and adjust the hands as well but it gives you a good idea of how to edit the animations that you downloaded from Mixamo. All right, so that was pretty short and sweet. Now you can see how simple it is to create animation either based on Unreal Engine content or Mixamo animations. Keep in mind that you can use the same principles to retarget animations that you found anywhere else, like in the Unreal Engine marketplace. So yeah, have fun creating cool videos with your metahumans and I'll see you next time. Bye.